We have new information about migrants detained thousands of miles away from New York. Immigration officials had initially thought they were linked to the attack on two NYPD officers in Times Square. ICE took them into custody in Phoenix, but Manhattan's DA is now saying they are not connected. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon is live in Lower Manhattan with this new information. Sonia. Yeah, Lauren, in just the last hour, the Manhattan DA's office released a statement saying that the four men ICE detained are not related to the investigation into the assaults here on NYPD officers in Times Square. That said, the mayor says he wants the NYPD to work together with ICE on this investigation. They're working on it separately right now, and the mayor says he believes those who commit crimes like this who are not citizens should be deported as a consequence. The city can't do that. ICE can Here's what we know. There are 14 suspects in the assault on NYPD officers in Times Square seen on video. Six of them have been arrested here in the city and charged in the case. A seventh has been arrested, but on other unrelated outstanding charges, it's not clear if he participated in the assault, even though he is seen in the video. And an eighth suspect is believed to be in ICE custody. Now, four of the six men who were arrested here were released on their own recognizance and are believed to have traveled to California, which is not technically a violation of their release until they fail to show up for court. One of the six suspects was ordered held without bail and was in court here yesterday. That suspect is Yohenry Brito. He is the person suspected of resisting arrest when all of it started, and the DA is still building the cases against the others, which is why they were released. Brito has been indicted with the charges set to be unsealed next month, and for now he's being held on $15,000 bail. Mayor Adams says he would like the city council to renew the city's cooperation with ICE so that the two agencies, which again are investigating this separately, can formally work together. Because as he put it, repeat offenders who can be deported should be. If I could have the authority, and if my team, legal team tells me I have the authority to have cooperation with ICE for those who commit felony dangerous crimes, that is something we would love to entertain and to look at. A couple more. Again, the Manhattan DA's office now says the four men detained by ICE on that bus from El Paso to Phoenix are not related to the case here in the city. But the Manhattan DA continues to investigate that case and look at the evidence. And that evidence includes body camera footage from the police officers that can shed some more light on exactly what happened and who was involved.